At the recent San Diego Comic Con, Will Poulter attended to promote Guardians of the Galaxy 3 as he takes on the role of Adam Warlock. Everyone was shocked at Will's condition and in a recent video I made on this, the comments overwhelmingly accused Will of taking steroids. But is he natural or not? The good thing about this situation is that more and more people are now realizing that their favorite movie stars and fitness influencers are most likely using performance enhancing drugs to reach their physique goals. On the flip side, anyone in decent condition is now accused of taking steroids, and this can be just as harmful to younger gym goers who think they need to take PEDs to reach their goals. So with regards to Will, let's first take a look at whether his physique is naturally achievable. He's definitely in good shape, but he's not massive and he's not super lean. The main thing that people notice is that his arms do seem slightly disproportionately large, but looking at the rest of his physique, nothing really stands out as looking enhanced. In fact, it's actually a pretty average physique for the regular gym goer. Personally, I would say that this is definitely a naturally achievable physique. It's just a huge contrast to the Will Poulter we know from movies such as We're the Millers. And that's a nice segue into my next point, which is the time frame for this transformation. Again, comments on this were that his transformation was too fast to be natural and he must be on steroids because it's physically impossible to gain muscle that fast. The main two movies people use as a reference point were With Millers and The Maze Runner, but these films were released in 2013 and 2014, the latest of those two being eight years ago. Doing some digging, Will looked in good shape in 2019 in a movie called Midsummer with Florence Pugh, and it was shortly after that he was seen on the beach with Florence where people first started to notice his physique, where he definitely looked bulkier from what we'd seen before. In 2021, he looked in probably his best shape in a TV miniseries called Dope Sick. Again, really big looking arms at certain angles, but overall, nothing that screams enhanced, apart from the fact I still can't stop thinking of the kids singing Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls from With The Millers, and the contrast between the two just seems crazy. So although I don't have any firm timings, there is potentially a timeline of years for Will's transformation. When people are right to get suspicious is when someone makes years of progress in months, typically ahead of a movie production. Other telltale signs of PEDs are constant fluctuations in weight between movie roles, but Will seems to have progressively improved over time. Other signs might be traps and shoulders getting a lot bigger, as they have a higher number of androgen receptors than other muscles. Will's traps look big in some photos, but again, nothing that really screams steroids. Other people have pointed out differences in his voice or jawline, but I'm unconvinced of some of these as typically they're comparing younger roles to parts he's played in his 30s and there will be some natural changes to these things. So is he natty? Well, from what I can see, I think it's certainly possible that he could be all natural and part of me really hopes that he is. Anyone who's ever worked with a professional trainer can tell you how much progress you can make in just 12 weeks when you have a dedicated coach and you're 100% disciplined. Most people can't maintain this for long periods, but when this is your job, you have a whole team supporting you and you're being paid millions of dollars, that long-term adherence is going to be easier. All of this said, I'm naturally suspicious of any movie role that involves a physical change like this. It seems highly likely that many MCU actors have taken PEDs, so the chances of him joining this team and using nothing maybe seems unlikely. Let me know what you think in the comments below.